Welcome back to Invest Global. Today we're continuing on with our Launchpad ecosystem map series, taking a little break from the massive, massive blockchains like Ethereum, like Polygon, right? We've talked about Cardano, we just got done with Solana. Also did a, a video on Near, except we kind of put all those three uh, main Launchpad platforms in the Near ecosystem together just because Near isn't as uh, kind of well known, but Thorchain is. And this is quite interesting, a project that I've talked a lot about on this channel, I called it very, very early. Now they've built something which is essentially a launchpad project, a little bit different what they're doing, but the main thing I love is this ability to have cross-chain interoperability inside of a launchpad. So again, this is really the only launchpad inside of Thorchain, mainly with the series, which the whole series is linked down below in the description. Essentially what I'm trying to do here is lay out all the different options you have for accessing IDOs, ICOs, IEOs, IFOs, whatever it is. So initial coin offerings, initial exchange offerings, initial farm offerings, initial all these different things, right? Um, initial DEX offerings and break these down, okay? Allowing you to understand what is best for me, right? So it all depends on how much capital you have, all these different things, but um, some people, you know, they may have liked some of the things we talked about with the Nearpad because the minimum you needed with Nearpad was around like under $200 and you have a guaranteed allocation. So it all depends on what you're looking at, you know, with something like TrustSwap or PokerStarter, it's a lot higher for a minimum needed. Let's talk about ThorStarter. So they, did, they uh, talk about here on their main page, how uh, this is still very early, guys. So you have to understand that they recently had this token launch. They originally had an airdrop to kind of uh, boost up the Thorchain uh, ecosystem, which by the way, go give them a follow here on Twitter um, so you stay up to date with them at Thorstarter. You can also follow us at investglobal underscore IO. It's also linked down below in the description. Everything we talk about throughout this video will be down below in the description. So keep that up, keep that in mind. Um, they they did have this uh, this good warning here um, that they've, uh, they've actually found some problems um, with it recently. So today is actually July 9th, so keep that in mind, yesterday. Um, I mean, this this video will be posted a couple days from now, but um, yesterday, they, at least from July 9th, um, they, they found a little problems, but this always happens, right? There's nothing ever happens 100% perfectly um, in the blockchain space. Since this is open source code, there's always people who are trying to exploit this. So you have to keep that in mind. That's why I think things like bug bounties are incredible that projects do. Um, but I, I am confident in ThorStarter. I really do like this project. Obviously, you have to do your own research, but um, let's move along here. Um, I like their uh, their their theme here. You know, I talk, I've talked about this throughout this uh, Launchpad series where, you know, all of them have different, uh, like Solanium has like the Greek gods. Um, Soul Starter has like different planets. Um, you know, Card Starter has different things. Oh, they, they all kind of have interesting uh, ways of describing it. I think that's important to do. You know, obviously there's the more technical things where if someone's a coder that they'll, they'll um, understand them. But to get kind of masses, get the retail adoption, you need things like this where I, I do like uh, how they're kind of breaking this down. And um, so currently we're, I'm, if I remember correctly, we're on chapter four. Um, and this is where you actually have the X rune staking and, and liquidity mining incentives. So as you saw there on, on that main website, this has been rolled out. You can actually check your rewards here. Um, if you just type in your, your Thorchain um, address or whatever address it is, because um, I think there's a Thorchain wallet, if I remember correctly. Let me know in the comments if you know. I'm, I'm trying to remember if there is a specific Thorchain wallet or you just use uh, MetaMask. But um, the point here is, um, the, the main thing that I talk about throughout the series is breaking down what are the different uh, stages, right? So how do you get into these projects? And this article actually lays it out quite nicely um, the selection process here. So um, this is actually how projects get selected, but um, then you have Thor, Thor uh, Starter Grants um, and all these different things. But before that, a selection process, we actually have this. So the IDXO model, like I said, this article breaks down really nicely. So um, they, they essentially say the launchpads play an important role to allow broader adoption in building early communities. Launchpad tokens work to, as access tokens to allow users to access new projects. The structure of this access depends on each specific launchpad with some requiring large amounts of locked tokens relative to allocation. We've built ThorStarter with two important design principles in mind. Flexible design and ThorStarter grants. So I love the grants, that's absolutely awesome. I love helping projects get you know get off the ground, get kind of the, the, the initial push that they need to actually build something great. Because I do, I do truly think um, the quality projects um, will really help uh, humanity in the long term, right? Because people store the value currently in something that is they don't have any say in, right? The fiat currency. And with the US dollar being the global reserve currency, it's, I don't think it's a good time to be in fiat um, over the next 20 years. I personally like inflation hedge assets and, and innovative technologies like blockchain. So um, if you're able to access these things early, that's when I get interested, okay? So um, Xrune is always paired with another asset that will allow cross-chain swapping in between the name of Rune, sorry, with the Yoda, slash Xrune on the Thorchain. Um, this is similar to Uniswap grants for new promising projects, okay? So 
you can see that the selection process is specifically for um, for uh, the the actual projects getting launched. They did, I thought they had something here about um, allocation, but I guess not. Um, maybe I can do a follow-up video on that, but I did like this. They have kind of the function of Xrune and um, this other thing on like understanding it a little bit better. So just to explain this, so first Xrune is paired with the Rune token as liquidity pool. Um, you can see that. So that's the input asset. It goes into the TCCLP, into the swap. Then the intermediary is that Xrune. Then with an automated market maker, whatever that is, whether it's Thor swap, which is basically Thor chain's version of Uniswap, um, then it pops out into these different token projects. So that's interesting to see there. Um, and the automated market makers are very, very important. Um, lastly here, roadmap. So they have phase one laid out. The decentralized application build and launch decentralized autonomous organization. Recently in Daily DeFi, speaking of a decentralized autonomous organizations, you know, in Wyoming, the first one was actually legalized in the United States. So the, this innovation in the space is undeniable. It's, it's actually gaining traction. You know, we're seeing countries starting to use this. They're being forced in a situation where they have to use blockchain, they have to use CBDCs because it's just undeniable, right? It, it doesn't matter if you're going to ban it or if you're not. Um, I think when, when all these other countries start using the underlying technology, whether or not they use Ethereum, whether or not they use Thorchain, whether or not they use Bitcoin, whatever, it doesn't matter. Blockchain is what is important in identifying key projects that essentially can integrate in the future of, uh, of blockchain ecosystems like uh, SmartKey, uh, a project that I've talked about recently. Um, you know, really what they're doing is, is they're helping projects do this. You know, they're, they're helping projects integrate into smart cities, into kind of the, the cities of the future. So I find it very fascinating. Let me know in the comments what you think about this. Um, then phase two is the IDOs and the decentralized exchange improvements. So, and then uh, this is the ongoing uh, ID, initial DEX offering and protocol work. This is that third phase. Um, and the development will refine the cross-chain IDO model. Further protocol work will focus on partnering with existing projects to tap into the X route. Rude liquidity, regardless of whether or not the IDO is on Thor Starter. Um, this has added the benefit of bringing additional buying power to the X Rune as means that tap into the Rune cross chain liquidity projects, which may uh, wish to access Thor chain liquidity but not IDO, will be able to do so based on the integrations during this phase. So I actually really like that. Essentially, you know, even if it's not launched on Thor chain, you can still actually, that is fascinating. That whole idea is, is very interesting, in my opinion. Um, even if it's not on the chain, you can actually ask, access the IDO potentially. So if, if there's all these other projects we talked about in this, all this other ecosystem, maybe Thorstar is kind of the glue that ties us all together. But I'm curious, again, what you guys think about this. Again, I cannot say this enough. Follow them on Twitter because you have to always be up to date um, with these things. Follow us on Twitter at InvestGlobal underscore Oh, definitely join the Telegram group link down below in the description because, you know, you can leave me a comment. But the thing is, in the comments, I've been noticing that a lot of creators and uh, myself included, our, my comments have been deleted. So I'll leave like a nice, long, thoughtful comment if somebody asks a question. And I really take time to do these things. And then it just gets deleted. It's like, what is YouTube doing? Yet YouTube doesn't delete these spammy comments that are so clear. Like Mr. Walter Bullshredder or something ridiculous like that. It's it's sad to see, you know, but that, that's why Telegram is important. Nothing gets deleted there, you know, unless someone's spammy, then we just ban them from the chat and their comments are gone. But um, it's just really a group of like-minded individuals, investors, I'm um, talking about global investment strategies, right? So talking about crypto, talking about all different things. Um, we help each other out. I'm there to answer questions. Other people are there to answer questions. It's really a growing community. It's not one of those that are constantly getting spammed. It's really like this this perfect size. I was hoping it would kind of stay under 100, but it, we I think we're close to like 200 people now, which is really, I don't want it to grow anything over 1,000 or anything over like that. Um, just because it gets a bit too much, then I, I want it to keep to uh, like, like we're having a conversation in person, you know. So uh, anyways, that's basically all for this video. Again, let me know what you think about Thorstarter, either in the Telegram group or in the comments down below, because I always do appreciate comments, even if my replies uh, get uh, get deleted. So that's all for this one. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel to stay up to date, hit the notification bell and click all. So just to recap, like, subscribe button all, leave me a comment, join the Telegram group, follow us on Twitter at investglobal underscore I O. Invest global. Until next time.